post musik. That's actually how you say music. I always thought you would say music, but apparently it's musik. At least if you say post beforehand. Now there has been a lot of music postings on my email as of late due to my Spotify list and for everyone who wants to show their tracks, show their songs, this is the rules. Can I, can the glorious lion and his esteemed disciples do deadlifts to the song or not? That is the question you have to ask yourself before sending me an email asking if I can have your song on my Spotify list. My pre-workout list have has one purpose and that is that guys like me can listen to it before hitting the gym or during the gym. That's the purpose. So you have to keep that in mind. So I can't put your song in the list if it's not something I can do deadlifts to. So I'm not saying this to be arrogant, I'm not saying that your music isn't good enough, I'm just saying that your music might not be suitable to the purpose of the playlist. So those are the rules in regards to the music. So if you're gonna post music, think to yourself, is this something the golden one and his disciples can draw strength from in the Temple of Iron. So yes, I just had to say that. Now on to the topic at hand, which is my hair. This is the Norman hairstyle, as I mentioned in a recent video log. Okay, that's not really the um, topic of today. The real topic of this fine video log this is the sort of video log that will surely make the channel hit a million subscribers. I thought about it. Why not? Why not aim for such a glorious number? Anyway, enough rambling and on to the point. I got a message from a patron supporter whom I have omitted the name and the exact location, but it is one of the glorious nations of Central Europe and he asks me the following. I'm not going to read out the entire message, but he feels a bit demotivated because he broke up with his woman, then started dating a new woman, but she wasn't quite ready for it and he lives in another city so his mates live in other towns and the town itself he's living in is an industrial town whereas he has grown up in well the countryside basically so he misses nature what I have here in um, in good supply in Sweden always full of forests everywhere uh, so he feels demotivated lacking the motivation to do anything basically uh, and yeah, I understand this, but I have some advice. So don't you worry, my dear true friend and supporter. I um, I got your back and I will give you some advice. But first we have to check out this cool place. I have no idea what it has been, but I have recorded videos here before. I've done chins on this little bar here. It was a winter landscape. It was a, a nice video, I suppose, so you might recognize it, but uh, yeah, it was full of snow then. So anyway, I thought this would be an appropriate place to to give some insights into what can um, aid you, my dear friend. So basically what you have to do is to set goals for yourself. 
you need to not view yourself as being in the industrial city in Central Europe in November. You have to view yourself as being somewhere cool in the spring or in the summer and then you have a sick physique. So that is what you have to do. You can't train just three days in the gym. You have to train six days. You have a solid goal and that is to get stronger and thus more aesthetic. So that is one of the strengths of the gym that you can set goals for yourself that you can continuously go forward. And here's the thing, what, what makes a man happy? Happiness, I don't know how to define it, but what makes you feel content when you go to bed? Yes, it's if you have done good work, it's if you have progressed in something. That is how you develop and feel good. So instead of just training three days a week, as you said in your message, you have to train six days and you have to continuously get stronger so that you look forward every day to going to the gym. Same thing, you can read some books as well. Uh, it's all about setting goals for yourself and achieving those goals. So have a time horizon. Say next May I want to be in an incredible shape and I want to have read all of these books or I want to have learned a certain skill then you work non-stop towards that goal. That is the only way for you to feel more satisfied with your situation as it is right now. And you can also ask yourself, if you're going to meet your mates in later on, when you get back to the same town for example, do you want to be more aesthetic and strong and wise or do you want to have regressed? So view that as motivation, that you will impress your mates by being a stronger friend. That is the only reasonable course of action. Now I will go up this little thing here. Maybe I can do some chins here as well. Always nice with a chin tree. That's a nice place, I might come back to film some training video. So anyway, I hope that was somewhat informative at least. I just wanted to make this video because you reached out to me. I said, you know what, I will address this in a video and now I have. So main point, set goals for yourself. Um, and for everyone who's in a similar situation, you feel a bit demotivated, you feel a bit black -billed. It's probably because of a lack of goals or in the higher sense, a lack of meaning. So set concrete goals for yourself. I will increase my bench with 10 kg in a month. Perfect goal to have. So yes, get to it. Now, in regards to living in an industrial city or town, and you don't really have the easy access to the forest or the countryside, I would definitely I would definitely recommend that you do a weekly trip. Take the train. Trains are always highly cozy. Unless you are in the subway of Stockholm. Then you feel like you're in Gotham City. I uh, like to go on the subway every once in a while to be reminded, to remind myself of the gravity of the situation. A lot of generosity, a lot of decadence in uh, the subway the Stockholm subway. But anyway, if you go with the train or a bus out somewhere in the countryside on a weekly basis, have a nice forest walk of about two hours, three hours. Either we have a podcast in, some music, or you might just listen to the birds. You can hear the birds now, they are they answered my call. They also want me to hit a million subscribers, so they increase the quality of my videos. So when I talk about birds singing, making sounds, they come to the rescue. That's because my wood elf in my hoodie here 
trimmed my beard a bit as well. Maybe I should shave it off completely. It grows out quite quickly anyway, so I might do it. Let me know in the comments below if I should shave uh, completely just for a video. Then it will grow back in like two weeks or something. So anyway, have those little rituals that you do once a week. So you know, yeah, I'm not completely stuck in this industrial town. Every Sunday it's holy for you um, to get out. Same thing for me. Uh, I view it as part of my training, well not really training, but more well-being um, routine to get out in the forest because it's good. It feels nice. And I can bring the camera and make some wisdom talk about some good ideas. So that is how you can view that thing. Then in regards to Las Mujeres, the women, the fair maidens, don't worry about it, at least not for now. I'm not a Casanova, but some basic female advice is to be fun, be charismatic, be yeah, be fun to be around. And you will probably be better and more fun to be around in the spring. So if you're going to procure yourself a good fair maiden that you can create a family with, it's better to do it when the sun comes back to your fair lands. Then you will be a bit more happy, a bit more energetic, feel better. So you should not worry about it if you have a bad period, especially during the autumn and you don't feel well, because then you will not utilize your full potential. So don't worry about it now, about fair maidens. Worry about training, worry about posting physique in the spring. Worry about your mental game until later on. Then, as spring comes, then you can go on the hunt, so to speak, for a potential wife. And then you will be happier, healthier, more outgoing, more positive, and generally more fun to be around. So that is something you can keep in mind as well. But as for now, just remove that equation from your mind. This is great advice, actually. I amaze myself in my in my wisdom. I've transformed into a wood elf. Now I suppose I was always a high elf. But anyway, I thought to introduce this advice with referring to myself as a wood elf, because there is something you can do. I've talked about this before. Escapism. It can be used as a great way to just recharge your batteries. Now the problem is if you are constantly escaping into alternate realities. But if you do it every once in a while, I've done this over the last few years on a few occasions, I just take one day completely immerse myself in it can be some sort of game you just game like crazy power gaming mode on you just take a coffee and and you game you get into get into it get into the game get into the story just uh, spend an entire sunday playing if you don't have any other obligations but if you do that it will probably give you a different perspective when you when you're done with the day so to speak so of course this is not something i endorse doing on a regular basis but every once in a while it can be good to just have a break from everything it almost becomes like meditation can you do the same thing with a game just take a complete break from everything to not stress to not worry overly much about anything at all just for a day not even a day keep half a day and you play through um certain game um, the Witcher, for example, um, Skyrim, um, Age of Empires 2, the historical campaigns. You spend some time 
completely shut yourself off from everything um, and then focus on it then you have had a break from perhaps your malicious thoughts if that is something that ails you because that can be uh, a reason also that you have a negative mental loop that you think about bad stuff then you feel bad and when you feel bad you think about even more bad stuff so it can be good to just get a clean break uh, even better even better of course if you're in the temple of iron because then you get the endorphin kick etc that makes you feel better so um, yeah you can do all sorts of things but in um, in conclusion my last piece of advice is put yourself in a mental state where you are looking forward to something so for example now I'm happy as can be because of all the good things in life but if I right now was not in a good place and I wanted to motivate myself to be productive etc to train hard um, I would just envision how I want to be in the spring you can be in a some sort of cool place out in nature in um, in the spring in the summer in May and then you start working on it now so you have something to look forward to all the time that is my very best advice so but I already said that so um, so yes I will leave you all with those words and um, yeah thanks for watching XXO boom